Hi, in this short video, I am going to demonstrate how to migrate OpenEdge database to MS SQL Server. First, we are going to create an empty database on the MS SQL Server. I'm using MS SQL Server 2012. Just name it SP2K for short for Sports 2000 on the SQL Server side. So this is an empty database. Doesn't have any tables yet. So now I will create ODBC system DSN. This is a 64-bit DSN. I have a 64-bit OpenS license installed in here. And SQL Server 2012 is also 64-bit. So I will use SQL Server native client 11.0, which comes with SQL Server 2012. Let's name the ODBC DSN as Spores 2K. And since this is a SQL Server Express, I have to name with the fully qualified name as it's shown in here. Windows 764 backslash SQL Express. Next, and when I run the SQL Server 2012, I chose Windows Authentication. So I will leave it default to with integrated Windows Authentication. Click Next, and then we need to change the default database to SP2K that we just created. And click Finish and test the data source and test connected successfully. This is the DSN. And now we need to create a Sports 2000 database. I'm going to use OpenEdge uh, Pro ENB. So this is a Pro ENB from a start menu. So what I am going, to, I'm doing here is I use Pro DB command, and my new database name would be Sports 2000. And I'm creating from the existing Sports 2000 that we supply with our installation. Okay, Sports 2000 database is created. Now I am going to connect to Sports 2000 using the GUI client. In a single user mode, so I have to use dash one. So now, this is the progress editor. I will go to Tools, Data Administration. And in the Data Administration, I'm connected to a Sports 2000 database, as at the bottom shows. Now, Data Server, MS SQL Server, and Schema Migration Tool, OpenSDB DB to MS SQL Server. That's the menu I'm going to choose. So since Sports 2000 is already connected, it's by default in here. And now I will put schema holder name, for example, SH for schema holder. Logical name I would put, I can put L. This is a demonstration, so I just put some kind of name so I don't have to type as much. ODBC data source name as Sports 2K that we created. And username, I would put DBO here. When we create the objects in the SQL Server, it will be created as a DBO dot customer, for example, for the customer table and all other table. So any objects with the DBO qualifier 
for the table name would be automatically bring it to the schema holder. If I did not put DBO in the username with Windows authentication, then it will not find it because it will not qualify with DBO. And then the schema holder creation would be half done. And then you have to do manually bring the create the schema holder again to bring the tables that we, we will create in first step. So I will keep the move data and load SQL means that's when it will load all the tables on the SQL Server database. And in that feature, I will choose computer columns instead of trigger so to reduce the contention of the record locking and everything would be default except I will choose with in here and include defaults. If we have a default in the uh, in the OpenS database, I would like to include it so it goes to a SQL server to have a default for it. And the reason I chose with here is so that suppose the customer name is display format is 30, for example, but OpenS database allows more than 30 characters, which is up to 32K. And with means, if it is X30 defined for the display format in OpenS database, the SQL width is by default is twice as much. So it will be X60. Suppose that I have a customer name with 40 characters. Then if I did not choose this width, then it will have a problem to populate that field with 40 characters customer and it will fail to load the data. So I will click OK here. And then I will click OK. And now now it's dumping the data, tables, content and it's creating the MSS objects in the MS SQL Server database. Now it's searching on the MS SQL Server for all the tables so it can bring it back to the schema holder. This is when the DBO dot customer name, a customer table or DBO dot state table, benefit table, those are being queried on the SQL Server so it can find and bring it back to the schema holder. Now it is bringing it back. It says loading MSS definition means loading into the schema holder all the definitions from Microsoft SQL Server database. And now it's loading the data. Now load data is completed. Now it says run pro-p cl.p. The CL is the logical name I put as L. C is for the connection. So CL.P is automatically created with all the connection parameters. We'll go OK. Now we are still connected to the Spost 2000 database, as you can see, the working database. We are not connected to the schema holder yet. We already created the schema holder. So the schema holder name that we provided is SH. So let's see if SH is created. See, this is the schema holder created, and uh, there is a SQL file. You can see SH.SQL, that's the SQL file that got loaded into the SQL Server database, which has all the tables in a SQL format, like a create tables and all, all kinds of SQL in there, in that SQL file. So now we can disconnect from a Sports 2000 database. Okay, now we are not connected to the database. Now we can okay, connect to the database. So this is the SH schema holder that we created. And it shows now the progress schema holder is prog database type progress and this is database type MSS. And this is where the table definition exists. Would you like to connect it? Yes. And it says username DBO that we provided at the beginning with the username DBO. Now, at the bottom, 
it says that database is connected as MSS, database type MSS. So we go to data dictionary, we can see all the table under the SH, logical name as a L, and then in the parentheses it says SH. So all the tables, these are in the inside the schema holder. And in the SQL Server side, Sports 2000, see we expanded the Sports 2000 tables, so or there wasn't any table. We need to just refresh it to see all the tables. Now, if we look at the tables, we can see all the tables are created from Sports 2000, and also the these are the sequences that we have in Sports 2000. So, for the for example, for the customer, since data is loaded, we can view some rec records from here. If you right mouse click, edit top 200 rows, just to see if there is any data. I didn't mean to edit, but I could have done select. 1,000 rows. At the same time, we can go, while it's coming, I can go here and do, since we are connected, I can just close the data dictionary and do for each customer no log display name, for example. And if I do F2, it shows all the records in the MS SQL Server database. So now it shows all the records, up to 200 records here, it says total number of items, 200, and these are all the records. So this concludes the demonstration of migrating OpenEdge database to MS SQL Server. Thank you for watching.